Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech A11 by Usha and I am Usha. In this video, I will demonstrate some of the major changes that you can notice in NVDA 2024.1. First major change that you can notice is we now have a dedicated shortcut to turn on screen curtain. Previously, there was no shortcut. We had to go to NVDA menu, then preferences, then input gesture and then create a shortcut. But now we have a dedicated shortcut and the shortcut is NVDA plus control plus escape. NVDA is your caps lock or insert key, whichever you have set as modifier key. Okay, let me demonstrate it. NVDA plus control plus escape. Temporary screen curtain enabled until next restart. Temporary screen curtain enable until next restart. If you restart your NVDA, the screen curtain which is temporarily enabled now will get disabled. Okay. Now, in order to disable, same shortcut, NVDA, control plus escape. Screen curtain disabled. So, this is how we can enable a uh, screen curtain temporarily. But if you want to enable it permanently, you need to hit the same shortcut that is NVDA plus control plus escape but escape you need to hit twice okay so i'm i'm holding nvda control and then hitting escape twice screen curtain enabled screen curtain enabled now it didn't say temporarily okay now it is permanently enabled let me restart and check i'll restart nvda by hitting alt control and task loading nvda please task bar so as soon as NVDA got restarted, we heard uh, you know sound alert which indicated like screen curtain is enabled. Isn't still is still in enabled state. Okay, in order to disable, same shortcut that is NVDA plus control plus escape. Screen curtain disabled. This is the first major change. Second major change that you can notice is new speech on demand mode has been added to speech mode list. Previously we had only three speech modes. That is speech mode talk, speech mode beep and speech mode off. But now we have four speech mode talk, speech mode beep, speech mode off and speech on demand. Now this speech on demand mode is similar to speech on demand in JAWS screen reader. That is your screen reader will be partially muted. Okay, let me demonstrate this shortcut to cycle between speech modes is insert S or caps S. So I'm hitting caps S as caps lock is set as uh, my NVDA key. So I'm hitting insert S or sorry caps S. Speech mode on dash demand. So this is the new mode. Let me cycle it. Speech mode off. Speech mode beeps. Speech mode talk. Speech mode on dash demand. So now we have four modes. Four speech modes. When speech mode is set to speech on demand, NVDA screen reader will not announce everywhere. That is it will be partially muted. Say for instance, when I hit Alt tab, when I tab, Shift tab, if I open start menu by hitting a uh, windows, or if I go to desktop, if I hit arrow keys, nothing is announced. Even when I open NVDA menu, nothing is announced. I'll hit down arrow, nothing is announced. Okay, NVDA screen reader is muted. But if you want to know where the current focus is, just hit insert tab. Exit menu item focused X. NVDA screen reader remains muted in all these areas. The areas where NVDA screen reader announces even in this speech on demand mode is, let me hit escape. I'll hit alt tab. When you want to know the page title by hitting insert Explorer. Key. Okay, it's explorer. OBS 29.1.3 dash profile. Okay, it announces the page title, but if I tap shift tab, it won't announce. Another area where uh, NVIDIA announces in this speech on demand mode is when you uh, turn on keyboard help by hitting insert. Input one. help on. Input help. Okay, if I hit A, the keys. A, H, K, left control, K, J. So it announces. Let me turn it on. NVIDIA plus one. Another area where NVDA announces in this speech on demand mode is you can know the time. Okay. 12 colon 36. These are some of the areas that I know where NVDA speaks in this speech on demand mode. 
Let me know in the comment box which are the other areas where NVDA speaks in this speech on demand mode. Another change that you can notice with respect to speech mode is from speech category of NVDA settings, we can now exclude unwanted speech mode. Currently, there are four speech mode that is speech mode talk, speech mode beep, speech mode off and speech mode on demand. Whichever speech mode you feel is unnecessary and unwanted for you, you can just exclude it from NVDA settings so that that particular mode doesn't come when you hit the shortcut insert S. That is the shortcut to cycle between different speech modes. For me, speech mode beep and speech mode on demand I feel is unnecessary. So I want to exclude them. In order to do that, I'll just open NVDA speech settings dialog or voice settings dialog by hitting the shortcut NVDA plus control plus V. NVDA settings colon speech left parent normal configuration right parent type. So in this speech settings dialog, just hit shift tab so that you can uh, reach to the option easily. Categories colon, apply button, cancel button, ok button, speech use spelling beep for capitals, check use spelling function modes available in the cycle speech mode command colon, list alt plus m, off check box checked. Ok, so this is speech mode category region, so here off is checked, so I want off, I'll hit down arrow from here. Beep check box checked. Beep is checked, so I don't want, I'll uncheck. Space not checked. Talk checkbox checked. Talk I want. On dash demand checkbox checked. So I don't want this. I'll uncheck it. Space not checked. Okay. So I have unchecked beep and on demand. I'll tap to Okay. Apply. Cancel apply but categories go. Apply cancel okay button. And I'll tap to okay and hit enter. Let me hit insert S and check whether these two modes are excluded or not. I'm hitting insert S. Speech mode off. Speech mode talk. Speech mode off. Speech mode talk. As you can notice, there are only two modes available now. Remaining two, I have excluded it. In this way, you can customize speech modes, which is really good. Next major change that you can notice is new items have been added to NVDA help menu. Let me demonstrate that. I'll hit insert M. NVDA menu. I'll go to Ref help. Tool help sub menu H. I'll hit User help. guide U. Commands quick reference Q. What's new N? NV access website help, training and support H. This option, help training and support. And second one is NV access shop S. NV access shop. These are the two new items that are added under help submenu. Let me open the first one. Help, training and support H. Training and support. Now, if you hit enter on this, this will take you to NV access get help page. Okay, I'm hitting enter on this. Untitled loading complete. Let me hit insert T to know NV access it. bar get help dash personal dash microsoft. Okay, NV access get help page. I'll just navigate in this page in heading mode so that you get an idea about this page, like what all different headings are available. Okay. Main landmark the help and support you need to use NVDA to the fullest. Heading level 2 need support with your download. Heading level 2 free user guide heading level 3. NVDA quick start guide heading level 3. Training heading level 3. Email support heading level 3. NVDA support heading level 3. NVDA certified experts heading level 3. Report on issue slash feature suggestion heading level 3. Other resources heading level 2. Okay, you can get help and support from this page. NVDA menu. User guide U. Commands what's new. NV access website. Dub help. Training and support H. I'll go to the second uh, new option. That NV is access added. shop S. NV access shop. I'll hit enter on this. NV Axe loading complete. Access bar shop dash personal dash Microsoft Edge. NV Access shop. Here also I'll just navigate in the page in heading mode so that you get an idea about this page. Okay. Main, main landmark shop heading level 1. List with 12 items basic training for NVDA left paren ebook right paren heading level 2 link. Microsoft Access basic training for N link AUD dollar 35.20. Okay, you can purchase the training material from here. Microsoft Excel training for NVDA left paren ebook right paren heading level 2 link. I'm hitting down arrow to know Link AUD dollar 35.20. Microsoft Word training for NVDA left paren ebook right paren heading level 2 link. Link AUD dollar 35.20. Microsoft Outlook training for NVDA left paren ebook right paren heading level 2 link. Link AUD dollar 35.20. NVDA support left paren telephone slash online right paren heading level 2 link link from odd dollar 14.30 
Microsoft PowerPoint with NVDA left paren, ebook right paren, heading level 2 link, link AUD $35.20, basic trading for NVDA left paren, downloadable audio right paren, heading level 2 link, link AUD $52.80. It's a shopping site of NVDA, okay, which is really good. These are some of the major changes that you can notice in the latest version of NVDA. Apart from this, NVDA no longer supports Windows 7 and Windows 8. Windows 8.1 is the minimum Windows version that is required to use NVDA. You can go through other changes that are introduced in the latest version of NVDA by navigating to NVDA What's New page. That's all in this video. Thank you.